Hi, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another MariaDB tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at the SQL SELECT statement. Now that we've created our database and a couple of tables, and we know how to enter data into the tables, both by using individual insert statements and also by doing a bulk insert, we're now going to look at how do we read data out of a SQL database. And that's where the SQL SELECT statement comes in. The SQL SELECT statement is used to retrieve or read rows from one or more tables in a SQL database. The format of the SELECT command is SELECT followed by a list of columns or star or asterisk for all columns, the keyword from, followed by the name of the table. Semicolon and enter. And we see all the records that are in the department's file. Same for the employees table. Select all fields from employees semicolon enter and we have all 42 records. Now instead of all of the fields we can specify individual fields so for example select last name, first name from employees. This will get us all of the records in the employees table, but only the last name and the first name fields. And they're displayed in primary key order, which is the order of the ID column. We can cut down on the number of records. In other words, be more specific if we specify another clause in the select statement called the WHERE clause. Select last name, first name, from employees. Now we specify the WHERE clause and a condition that has to be satisfied. And so, for example, if we wanted all of the last names that begin with the letter L, we'd say WHERE last name like L and then the percent sign which is a wild card for any other characters. Now if we hit enter we should only see records from the employees table where the last name begins with the letter L and we have three of them. We can also create a select statement if we wanted to only see employees from a specific department. So we can say select last name first name from employees table where department ID equals one. Enter helps to spell these things correctly. And so here we have seven employees. In addition to limiting the number of records that we want to look at in our table or tables with the WHERE clause, we can also specify the order of the records that are returned from the tables using the SELECT statement. And we use that with another clause called ORDER BY. So for example, SELECT ALL FIELDS FROM EMPLOYEES ORDER BY LAST NAME. And now you see that the records are in alphabetical order from A through Z based on the last name of the employee. We can also limit the number of records that are returned in a result set based on our SELECT statement. And we do that using the LIMIT clause. SELECT ALL FIELDS FROM EMPLOYEES LIMIT FIVE RECORDS. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and keep on coding.